so I pried the book from his hands and tore the covers off to bring home. I'll be able to afford another slave this harvest season, at the very least. <laughs> These Saxons and their books? You'd think they were more precious than their own lives, but if no one lives to speak of what's written down, who will remember it? <laughs> Not to speak of how they treat their dead. Putting bones or pieces of wood inside golden boxes. <laughs> how this honors their god, I'll never understand. Waiting won't make it any easier. Thorstein, the hero of many tales. I could not let you pass without experiencing the sting of your wit. Uh, the mood I'm in, you'd best hope for a stinging rather than a lashing. <laughs> then let's begin. On the Isle of Ely, great riches were won. Are you saying that you would like some? Come, Thorsty. Surely you can do better than that. I've heard of your legend, your grace and prowess. You said it yourself. I've no need to impress. <laughs> the merchant with the silver tongue strikes again. <laughs> it's a shame Harald Jarl outshines you so brightly. Beware that such insults aren't those I take lightly. A proper threat! Delivered in perfect rhythm! Oh, how I've missed you, Thorstein! I trust you have been stung enough for now. Thorstein! You've been far from our shores, but never my thoughts. There's something I must say, my arm. <laughs> so formal. Did the crossing scour our friendship from your mind? It did not. It's only by friendship that I'm brave enough to speak. Now tell me then. I'm listening. I tire of raiding Harold. I want to settle where there's rich, dark soil for the taking. I want to make a place of our own where I can live out my days with my wife. You're young yet, my friend. Plenty of time to grow old with a bouncing infant on its knee. No, my Jarl. I've delayed too long already. Today I search for a ship. I have none to spare. Then I shall purchase one. Commission, perhaps. I hope this folly of yours can withstand a year's wait. That is what it takes. It is no slight to you, my Jarl. My love for you has not waned, but my love for my wife only grows stronger with each absence. I hope you will bless my journey in time. Go!
Let's tell Gunhilda we will have no help from our king. Woody, keeping those hands of yours busy. Huh. They'll be ready to tie knots in the worst winter storms, I swear. And they're going to bring it all the way from a Kundersund? Definitely not. My parents have never traveled farther than Notfall, and they complained about the food the whole time. Have you told them of your plans to sail west? Not yet. They've woven sails for Thorstein before. No need for them to know that this time will be any different. Not until all our hard work has paid off. Well, how did it go with Harald? Harald will not stand in our way, but neither will he help us. Oh, at least he could give you his blessing. He did not. Oh, my love. He will come around. His love for you flows deep, but its pull is as strong as the tides. I see you've made good on your promise to find us traveling companions, at least. This group of good-for-nothings? They're only here as ballast. Ah, then find a ballast I've never seen. <laughs> it's a good start, but we will need more men. And the navigator. I know. I've gathered a list of names already. Ah, my leader, Stianna. Ulla, it's been a long time. It has. Time has hardened you, my friend. As it has me. Ulf, it is good to see you again. I couldn't miss this chance to sail with the mighty Thorstein now, could I?
Creating an immersive world also includes the sounds triggered when Eivor interacts with her or his surroundings. Shown here are coloured surfaces that play a specific sound when the player walks on them. Yes, every item with sound and animation is labelled in the game's engine. A brown square indicates a wooden sound, probably because wood is brown, I'm not sure, while yellow squares signal a fabric-like sound. When the player walks on or touches one of these hidden squares, the noise it's linked to triggers automatically. But there's another side to this coin, and it's a sinister one. With this system, developers were also able to create noise traps that can reveal the player's presence to nearby enemies. Imvolder, I need a ship. My wife and I leave for the land across the sea. Uh, Harald won't pay for such a vessel, I'm sure. Did you really fill your pockets that well on your last raid? I have gold enough to cover the cost. Wood, sails and all? Gunhilda's family will provide the sail. The rest I will purchase. Ah, you're a lucky man. I know. Speak with Skarga for a pine mast, then, and yarn for the nails. <laughs> Tell him I'll expect him to be on time with his deliveries in the future. I'll see what I can do. Now, you can't make a Viking game without an awesome longship. It's the law. After all, Norsemen are renowned for their boat-building craftsmanship to this day. To do it justice, modelers in Montreal built the dimensions and shapes, while artists in Singapore created 48 different variations of longboats with stunning designs inspired by Norse mythology. The outcome speaks for itself. A slick, clinker-built hull for hydrodynamism, shallow keels to sail in low waters, and even a removable mast to pass under bridges. Now set sail, and may you have fair winds and following seas. Don't forget your sandwiches.
So, Steen, what brings you to my yard? Involder sent me. Oak or pine? I'm sorry, what? Learn to shipbuilding, are you? Come with me. You'll learn better by doing. Use that axe to remove the bark from this log. Underneath you will find silken pine, flexible and light, that will bend in the wind. Perfect for a mast. Once you have a sense of the wood, come find me and I will show you another. Tap in the witches gently. We want this lock to split as straight as possible. That way we will have long hard boards of oak for the hull of your ship to protect you and your fellow. I'll wait for you over there. Planing the wood ensures a tight fit between the boards, leaving no gaps or knots that might give way in the middle of the sea. The smoother the joints, the smoother your journey. Now, which type of wood did Involder send you for? For a mast. I'll send your new mast to the shipyard as soon as it's ready. Are you looking for something? Involder sent me. Of course he did. He tried those nails from Aval's nest, and I bet they fell apart in the salt water. <laughs> I use nothing but pure iron, which is why he hates my prices. But at least you won't find yourself suddenly sailing in a bucket full of holes. <laughs> ah, head inside the shop. You can take a box from the stack against the back wall. But tell him he'll have to pay up front if he wants more. I'm the one funding the construction of this ship. You will be paid in full. I have no doubt. Eventually. Imbaldir makes ships that sing on the ocean waves. But mundane thoughts of silver and debt never seem to enter his mind. Don't worry, I'll talk to him. Go get your nails. Finally, you return. Now, there's one last step to take. 
Come with me. Which animal would you like best for your prowl? I have three available, so you can choose the spirit that suits your intentions. Uh, you will also need to bring me a blessed charm to put inside the prowl. But I won't need it for many months yet. Take a look, and let me know if you have any questions. Tell me about the serpent. The snake-headed prow will ensure you dominate the waves with disconcerting ease and great stability. Is this the prow you want? I'm not sure. Take your time. Tell me about the horse. The horse? A risky choice. But you can count on it to lead you quickly to port, with the proper ritual precautions, of course. Is this the prow you want? I'm not sure. Take your time. Tell me about the elk. Uh, the elk is associated with the cycle of life, death and rebirth. For a new beginning in distant lands, it could be quite fitting. Is this the prow you want? Yes. Excellent. Then we can get started. Bless us on our journey to new lands and a new home. Thorstein. <sighs> yes, my Jarl. I was childish before. In my joy at seeing you home, I wasn't ready to discuss your departure again so soon. Nor see you gone for good. Please, accept this with my blessing. Unjo. The ruin of kinship. And why not? No man has been a truer brother to me than you. It has been an honor to have you in my Fjellach, even if this leg of the trip will be shorter. Has finally come. And all too soon. Many have come before you, and many will come after. Yet, when I die, it will be your friendship that I recall as I await the opening of Valhalla. There, we will meet again. Go then, and the winds take you swiftly to soft lands and great riches. May your name never be forgotten. A fine ship for a fine man. And the finest craftsmanship I've ever laid eyes on. You have blessed us indeed. You still owe me for that last box of nails? Uh, Invoder told me he paid. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Be well, Thorstein. <laughs> and you... I shall miss your scathing replies, Thorstein. And I'll miss your insufferable arrogance. God smile on you, my friend. Treat her well, Thorstein. Oh, my wife will make sure of it. I've never seen a woman more in love with a boat. And I've never seen so fine a sail. If you ever return, I will have work for her. And I can apprentice myself to Skaga. A sound plan.
I'm honored to see you, Eivor. Enough for today. I must take my leave. So long. Goodbye, Eivor.